So on a weekly basis, or sometimes on a daily basis, you're going to have to test your water. And for an established aquarium like this, the most common tests I perform are pH and nitrite test, tests. So you always have to fill a test tube with five milliliters of water. So traditionally you have to dip it and pour a little out and then you pour a little too much out and you gotta refill and start over and until you eventually you get to the five mil line and then you can test your water. So you remember in my earlier video I use syringes. Here's a perfect scenario to use this again. So either you have one on standby or you borrow one. So pH test, you add three drops of this uh, test fluid to your uh, test tube. You can either do it before or after, it really doesn't matter. Then you can take your syringe and fill it up with aquarium water for testing. And just like that, the test is done. Now I have done my test. Now if my pH was low, traditionally, if you do it by the book, you have to use a product like this. This is pH up. So, uh, you know, you follow the directions on however to use it, all that other stuff. This stuff can get expensive if you have to constantly raise the pH in your aquarium. Now this bottle, as you can see, it's actually growing dust on it. That's how often I use this. Almost never. As a matter of fact, the lot number, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but the lot number, the final three, four digits is 05 of 1994. That's how old this bottle is. Because if you have low pH, there's an easier and cheaper method to raise your aquarium pH. Good old fashioned baking soda. Cheap and it'll raise your pH and you don't have to spend a fortune for this stuff. That's that. We'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.